It's Jeff and Wilmer at Budroom, and uh, today we're going to do a, a seven day update on this, this huge swarm that turned up. We're also going to have a look at the observation hive and see what they've done in that time. They haven't become defensive. No, we haven't had any trouble with them at all, have we? No, and this is where we walk past to go to our wheelie bin. I had a look three days ago and there's a massive bees up in the lid. So they've moved down and started working. Just put a bit above the top. They're quiet, aren't they? They're very quiet. Now, just take the mat off. Might be an idea to use this queen as to breed with. Yeah, she'll be a good one to breed from. So we haven't spotted the queen on the mat. They haven't done anything on these couple of outside frames. They've done some work on this one. Yes, boy. A lot of work. Is there any larvae in any of those? Um, I'm looking for eggs. I can't see any eggs. It's the first day of spring in a week's time. Yeah, this is the fourth one across. Wow, look at that. They've been busy. Yep, they've been busy all right. Now, I want to point out, this is a 10 frame box and I only use 9 frames in a 10 frame box. And I space them out evenly. I'll go over to the sun. Oh, they're beautiful bees. Wouldn't it be a dream to have all your hives like this? <laughs> yeah, still haven't seen any eggs that the queen's laid yet. Oh. What Ooh, happened? I forgot this one didn't have any wire. Oh, <laughs> did you feel it give? Yeah, it's starting to go. I forgot it didn't have any wire. You would have really upset them then. Yeah, that would have upset them. So I'll take this out to the sun and see if... Um... Still can't see any newly laid eggs. Sometimes you don't see eggs and you, and you think, oh, I need more sunlight to be able to see them. But I think normally... You'd see them. You'd see them, yeah. You'd see them. Yeah, this is a foundationless frame we put in. Wow, look at all the work they've done. Yep. I think they're building drone cone. Really? Does that look like drone cone? It looks to you? pretty big to me. Yeah. There she is. She's where, still where, small. Where? Uh, she's what? near this bar. Yeah. And she's still got the small abdomen. Oh, I see her. She hasn't grown in size. Where has she gone? There she is. Once Just I put, put my, your finger there so I can. If I, I put my finger on. there, that might make us shy. Let me get your finger and I'll get her. Gee, she's quick, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, she's quick. But she hasn't grown in size. No. We'll give it another week to see if she's laying any eggs. Let's have a look at the hive that we took the two frames of brood out. Busy that was an empty frame. Because you emptied out. Week. We emptied out the two frames of brood and replaced them with two empty frames. The frame in the middle that we left wasn't completely built. It was foundationless. So the two outside ones were foundationless. I probably need to have a look and see if there's any eggs. Just to make sure that we didn't kill the queen the other day. Yep. Yeah, I can see eggs now. Yep, I can see eggs there. I don't need to put this in the sun. Now, let's have a look at the other side. Well, that's uh, what I was thinking. If there were eggs in the other one, you would have seen them. Yeah, if there was eggs in the other one, we would have saw them for sure. Look at the other side. They've done the same on the other side, or even a little bit more. Now, that was empty, wasn't it? Yep, that was empty. Now, I want to ma mention that I put this together during the winter, must have been in June, I set this up with a single frame of brood, bees, and that queen that came out of the yeah. Queenslander. It was still during winter when I took those two frames of brood out, and it's still winter now, minus about a week, and they've built those two frames. These bees are getting desperate over here, Jeff. Yeah. Just put a bit of wood there so I don't squash any bees when I put it back. Now let's, let's put it back and see what happens. I love doing this. 
Look at that. Oh. And the noise just dramatically drops. Oh, amazing, isn't amazing, it? Amazing, yeah. I've made a lot of uh, nukes out of that queen last you year. You have. Yeah. I think I'll continue that on because they've been good nukes. I've got a, a flow hive customer coming this afternoon for a colony that came out of that queen. She is a ripper. It's been a week since we looked at this hive that turned up two weeks ago and there was no evidence that the queen was laying then and she still had a short abdomen. And let's have a look and see they're bringing back loads of pollen and they're working flat out. Now you can see here by looking down here across those frames that they're built on every frame. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, they've been working. Every right? frame has been built on. So let's have a look at the outside one. I can't believe this. This is the outside frame. Wow. Look at that. Well, that was empty, wasn't it? Yep, it was completely empty. Wow. Look, look at all the honey in it. Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful, fresh honeycomb. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Now, the second last one. You can see what the bees have done here on this frame. They've left a, a sort of a half a football area there for the queen to lay eggs in. And you've got honey around the top of it and pollen in between that. Yep, she's laying eggs. Amazing. So whether you'd be able to pick it up with the camera, but... Now this is the third last frame. Now this one has eggs and larvae. This is one of the frames I put in. This is the other frame of brood. Now it doesn't have foundation or wire. So I'll have to be gentle with this one. This is the last frame to come out. And it was, it started off as a foundationless frame. So what do you see different there, Wilma? It's all drone comb, all yeah. of it. Yeah. A whole lot. Yeah, all drone comb. Can't see any work be comb. Yeah, uh, we still haven't spotted the queen yet. So I'll have a closer look for her. So, so while you was attending to a honey customer, I had a couple of mishaps. The first mishap was I was holding Ooh. I was holding a foundationless frame and unwired with plastic ends and it just fell apart on me. The plastic ends fell off. Yeah, because they're not uh, nailed or wired. Yeah. Or, it's best if they're wired. So I've got to attach that to an empty frame. Right. And then I found the queen on this frame. And because my hands were a bit slippery, it fell out of my hands. You went and dropped the, her. I hope you ground. didn't murder her. No, no. She was walking around before. Mm. A little bit shaken. Now, have a look at the bottom bar. Oh, I see her, yeah. So you well, got a good shot of her? I'm Look, she's. To. Now, remember how she was real shy oh, she's before? She's just gone over, she's gone through a hole and coming through this side. There yeah, she's. Oh, right. Right on the, near the corner of the frame. Right, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. an amazing. Oh, amazing. Isn't she amazing. beautiful? She's Look at all the bees crowding around her. Her abdomen's a lot longer now, too. Yep, yep. Certainly is, but oh, I'm yeah. glad you didn't lose her. Yeah. Now the exciting part is, after me dropping two frames, you're still there with no veil, no protection, and uh, you're not getting attacked. I wonder what they're doing to her. They're just feeding her and attending to her every need. Well, there's a lot hanging around her that's just what back the, end. Yeah, that's just what the bees do. They just oh, look they after her. Oh, they must be her. cleaning her. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Yeah. Like the other day, she was so shy and so agile and moving around. Now, let me see if you can go. She's moving around. Oh, Unbelievable now how she's just happy to just sit there and let the bees attend to her. She might have got shaken up and they might yeah. be calming her. Right, well I'm going to put her in the hive and close it up. I think I'll be splitting this hive shortly. I think you'll have to. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.